He better. The ever smiling, wine washed countenance of the great Lord Dionysus now adorns the prince's chamber wall, thus radiating questionable influence. <laughs> it's like we share a bond, man. Motherhood's a curse, young Zagreus. Be thankful you're immune. You sprang from Nyx herself, or so I hear. I sprang from Thea, whoever she was. And I once bore a child, too. Long gone. Her mother's work. Isn't it such a waste? Wow. Okay. Well, Jesus. I got one. I got a Marty. Specimen received. Don't say that. <laughs> Wow, did they fashioning those things? I forced her sister goddess Demeter, despite her stern approach. She often likes to make good sport of me, nephew. Why here she is right now. <laughs> oh god, I'm afraid. Quite finished blabbering, Poseidon. Our young Zagreus has more important things to do. He needs your blessings, not your point of view. Don't you, young sprout? <laughs> nice. Wow. Okay. Cheers, Uncle. Zagreus, I wish we all could hear you so that good Lord Ares here might be persuaded that my powers are entirely for different purposes than his. <laughs> Perhaps our skill sets once were meant for different purposes, dear Artemis. But who are we to doubt the end result? Observe what shall transpire once we grant our kin our combined might. Mm. Hey Orpheus, What's up, I figured that you've heard by now about how I bested the Minotaur Asterius alongside Theseus, the champion of Elysium himself. I don't think I even broke a sweat. <laughs> I scarce can possibly imagine such a spectacle, my friend. But certainly I shall attempt to try. Did he make fun of me just now? Well, Zag, you like things nice and complicated, don't you? Apparently so do I. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> If you're asking if I have any regrets about what happened between us, the answer is no. Being with you, any complications there are worth it. Aww. You don't need to tell me. Two rules if you want to keep this up. First, we set the personal aside when we're out there. I better not hear a soul say I'm going soft on you. And second, keep up this slightly more mature thing you've had going for you recently. Oh, okay. <laughs> wasn't planning on sliding back into the insensitive nonsense of youth, so I don't think the second thing will be a problem. But the first, can we really just keep kidding each other out there like nothing happened? Huh. Guess you'll find out. <laughs> Who <Hoo> boy! <laughs> I'll try not to! Oh no, Charon. Charon, Charon, Charon. Let's talk this out. Let's talk this out. Let's talk this out. Let's talk this out. Talk this out. Woo! Mate, you are tough. Woo! Got you, mate. Twice in a row. I guess Homies wins his little wager with you then. You tell him I said. <laughs> what the hell is that, man? Yeah, that's fair. Oh, God. Here on tough cookie. of the boundless river Styx cuts through misty Erebus, providing for the river boatman Charon a locale in which to deal with the unruliest of souls. Oh, this is Ag. Nice place you got here, mate. Looks like I'm back in the club. <laughs> Prince, Achilles, sir. You happen to know whether Father authorized the transfer of a Macedonian Tau Lambda chariot to Elysium in recent memory? I ran into the former hero Theseus, all joy riding about in one of those. <laughs> I know the chariot you mean. It's not just any Macedonian. It's modified, apparently by Daedalus himself. No earthly weapons can do what it does. Though, please don't tell me Theseus put on that mask. <laughs> You mean the golden matching mask? I saw him wearing it all right. Looked like a proper fool, I thought. What of it, though? <laughs> well, I 
think that Daedalus would certainly agree. I heard that he fashioned that mask and outfit as a little joke. For someone deeply oh quiet God. and well unaware. <laughs> it must have suited Theseus quite well then, yes? <laughs> that it did, most definitely, sir. Oh, hey. Mother, you'll forgive my asking, but your mother used to call you by a different name, didn't she? Ow. Ugh, don't remind me. Imagine if I called you Zaggy Poo from when you were born to this very moment. That's how that name felt to me. I much preferred the name my father gave to me. Your mortal father, right? So he called you Persephone. What was he like? He was kind to me and funny. Little bringer of destruction I was to him. I liked that. He was right, I was a terror. Then he passed. I was very little still. My mother never spoke of him again. Demeter mentioned him a bit to me. She seems... I don't know, but I, I don't sense that she regrets the relationship or anything. Just sad about the outcome, I think. I suppose I can see that. I thought I might end up like father. Growing old, wasting away. Then the time flew by, and I realized I was closer to mother's side. Mortals certainly don't have it easy. But their limited days, it means... They live their lives to the fullest, I think. <laughs> At least we've some of that in us. Indeed, my son. Truly. Sure don't see a lot of other nymphs around here, huh? We don't die too easy, most of us. It makes me feel all special. <laughs> I've never met another nymph, now that you mention it. Heard of a few. The goddess Artemis sounds like she spends more time with nymphs than the other Olympians. That's what I heard. Though it's not like we all hang out. I mean, you've got the Dryads and the Naiads and the Nereids and the Oceanids. Pretty much every type of terrain up top, there's a kind of nymph who loves it. Maybe we need a name for underworld nymphs, too. Jesus, oh, so many. <laughs> the venerable goddess of the seasons, Demeter, chooses to look as stately as can be. Can you believe it, dearest? Although, why one would mark so many fine lines upon their face, I wouldn't know. Oh, oh no. Oh, Aphrodite, dear. You wouldn't know a thing of substance if it offered you a cloak. Your chosen countenance makes plain the full extent of your intentions and your interests alike. Meow. <laughs> Love it. My friend. Zagreus, the most amazing circumstances have occurred. The terms of my employment. They've been altered such that I may visit Asphodel sometimes. May visit her. <laughs> That's great. Orpheus, what are you waiting for, mate? Go and find your muse out there. You two have lots to catch up on, I think. I think you're right. I am so very anxious, I must say. But I must also thank you for this opportunity and for speaking with me all this time. So, how might I repay you? Oh, Orpheus. Why is it always talk of payment around here? You're my mate, and your songs have lifted many spirits here, including mine. Now go, and make the most of this, will you? Oh, Zagreus. <laughs> Thank you. I shall. Let's go. I shall. <sighs> Let's go with this. If some big light refracting orb won't fill the lounge with revelry, I don't know what will. Blood and darkness, what have you done now? <laughs> oh, so happy. At last, the bridge to chaos is restored. Thank you so very much, my child. I shall be going then. And I shall presently return. Please, have no fear. And now, farewell. I shall bring chaos your kindest regards. Bro, reuniting everybody. Let's fucking go. Please do. Until next time, Nyx. Where in the fuck is Thanatos, man? Oh, there he is. The fuck? Oi. I hope you're ready for some more of the real thing there, Than, because I got you some and I won't be taking t what is this zag for an answer. <laughs> What is this? Come on already, Zagreus. Are you just messing with me now? How did you even manage to get more of this, much less decide to hand it off to me? In order, no, I'm not. 
by ransacking my father's realm repeatedly, and it's because I like you, Thanatos, in case you still have some misgivings about that. You like me, Zagreus? I never thought I... don't know why that sounds so strange coming from you, given everything that's happened as of late. Yeah. Look, if you don't feel the same way about me at this point, I would rather know. Cease all these core gift exchanges and all that. <laughs> I never said anything like that. You know what? There's a bunch of mortals I have to go fetch. Goodbye. Than, wait. He is such a disaster. Oh my god, I love him. Look at this guy over here. Listen, boy, yo. I don't know exactly how to put this, so I'm just gonna come right out. I need your help with something, and I'll be honest. I don't think you're gonna like it. That's so scary. It doesn't involve hacking away at you with reckless abandon, Skelly. I don't want to hear it. But, oh, no being serious. <laughs> I am. And funny you should put it like that. Boyo, I am asking you to get me out of here. Permanently, if you catch my drift. The standing around stuff just kind of wears on you after a while, you know? Skelly. I, know. I can only imagine. Tell me what I can do. That blade of yours back there. It's got a special power. You gotta spruce it all the way up. Your aspect, not somebody else's. Then let me have it with that thing, and I'm out of here. Then you'd be dead forever. You're asking me to kill you. I know it's a lot to dump on you, but I got my reasons. I don't exactly have a lot of options here, so give it some thought. Till then, we'll act like nothing's changed, all right? All right. Maybe. Skelly? The hell, man. Care for a warm up with that? That's it, the blade. You gotta let me have it with that thing. Skelly. That's it, keep going. I'm finally free, boyo. Well, Skelly. What? <laughs> Got you pretty good again, didn't I, boyo? I'm asking you to get me out of here. <laughs> all that stuff about your blade and your aspect, I mean, you ate all of it right up. <laughs> it appears I've been the victim of an elaborate prank. I'm not sure that I appreciate it, Skelly. What if I were to never hit you again? How would you like that? <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, come on, boy. It was just a joke. I figured things could lighten up a little here. Don't need to do anything rash. Oh. Um. <laughs> and no more tricks like that again. <laughs> Skill, you're a dick. <laughs> um, Zagreus, despite my hunter's instincts here, it seems I was unable to elude Aphrodite in this particular case who insisted that we present ourselves to you at the same time, for whatever reason. <laughs> oh, come now, Artemis. I'm sure you're very capable of hiding from a common beast, but I can see you plain. Why not be honest with yourself next time? Oh, Jesus Christ. Guys, you're not having this talk. <clears throat> Stan, did I get... Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanatos, I wanted to apologize for the last time I approached you with a bottle of the real thing and give the whole exchange another shot. Would that be all right? <laughs> You're asking my consent to give me yet another lavish gift. Sure, permission granted. Though, what makes you think that your approach this time is going to be any more successful than the last? I don't know that it will. I never really know exactly where I stand with you. But I know how I feel. And I'd rather be up front with you, even if it means risking our relationship, such as it is. Aww. Our relationship? It wasn't long ago you were prepared to throw it all away while making for the surface, if you don't recall. But now you're saying that you care for me. And what exactly, Zagreus? Yes, that's what I'm saying, Then I should not have left the way I did without letting you know. But when you found me, I think that's when... That's when I knew. I was started to realize, you know? I... Yes. I know, I think, because... 
When I heard you took off, the anger that I felt, it was... it wasn't something I expected. So... what do we do now? Wow. Maybe we ought to take our time. Unlike the real thing there, that's a commodity we have in good supply. Just know that if you feel the way I do, you know where to find me. And if not, I'm grateful anyway. I see. Well then. The best that I can say for now is that I'm grateful too for this. Take care of yourself, Zag. Wow. You too. Oh shit! Alright, everyone, shut the fuck up. We're talking to chaos. <gasps> you're here. I thank you for this, child. My greetings to you, child. How unusual that we should come in contact here. Chaos and I had quite a bit of catching up to do. Please go about your business, and I shall see you back inside the house in time. Provided you return there, of course. And thank you for this once again. It was my pleasure. Take care of each other. I'm so happy. It pleases me immensely, son of Hades, to have seen the god of snakes again. There's a significant amount of time that has elapsed since that's this happened, but all sufficiently old pains, I think. Thus, it becomes a basis on which our connection may, in time, take shape again. <laughs> Glad to hear. Oh, that's obvious. Guys? Why, Zacrius, how wonderful to see you here. Eurydice and I, we have been catching up for all the time we spent apart. Yeah, so if you would excuse us for a little while, hon, I'm not finished catching up with him just yet. But first, before you go. <laughs> I need to ask something of you. Well, it has. I'd ask you to come in, but you're already here. It's really good to see you. Just tell me one thing, Zacharias. Did you really mean what you told me before, that maybe we ought to take our time? I just don't mean to push you, Than. I know all this is kind of a lot. And I wanted you to know this isn't some impulsive thing for me. I'll wait for you however long it takes. You have no concept of which impulses to act upon and which to keep in check. You say you'll wait? Well, let me ask you this. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? I'm here. Already. Right? Whoa. Oh my god. Fan. <laughs> I'm so glad. It's just... You know that Megara has been here too. <laughs> okay. I've known Megara much longer than you. Who do you think talked me into this? Oh, shit. Huh, she did, did she? That's good. That's good. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Than. Look, speak up already. I don't like it when you're quiet for too long. What's on your mind? <laughs> a lot of things, and you will have to grow to like it, Zag. Or, what I mean is, don't take my silence the wrong way, alright? I better get going, though. I'm way behind on work, but see you again, if that's alright. It is. It is. All to the sweet sounds of Orpheus singing about how I am Dionysus. Oh fuck yeah. This is the greatest delicacy of Olympus, Master Chaos. It's for you. I think normally it would be difficult for the Olympians to get it to you here. You make an even greater offering to me, knowing it shall produce no material result. You are aware that I am not persuadable. Yours is a squandering of resources and time. Although, of course, we do have each of these in great supply. Now then, respond. Wow. They were very... There's some enthusiasm behind those words. Genuine confusion. 
think the act of giving isn't quite the same as an exchange. I know I won't be getting any sort of other talisman or something in return, but through these offerings, I can express my thanks. That's worth it by itself. I see. So then the action is akin to that. For you are getting something in return that I did not intend to give. I still have much to learn from my creations, son of Hades. So let us say that we have made an even trade. My learning for your worth. <laughs> They're kind of an idiot. I kind of love it. How strange it is to be subjected to the fates. But do not fall into the cognitive delusion that they have already made your choices for you, son of Hades. Rather, they are keen about anticipating every choice that everyone shall make. Such as the following. That's a nice way of putting it. Hello, hello. <laughs> hey. Hello, sir. How you feeling? I have good news, sir. I located the contract binding you and bought it out. It's null and void. You're free to go. Oh, indeed. Then does this mean, Prince, then the Fury Sisters, they won't come around as often anymore? Not just that, Sisyphus. You can make your way someplace else where other decent shades reside. You know, somewhere with fewer chains and torture devices and such. You're much too kind to this old soul, Prince said. The thing is, this is home. For me and Baldy, it is what it is. Though no is what it is. will be visiting with quite their former regularity, that is a load off. Heavier than Baldy there. You mean you're really going to stay? Even though you don't have to? Is that so odd, Highness? I don't see myself lugging old Baldy out of here besides. And if I were to leave, why, we would not be having these exchanges now and then. I happen to enjoy them quite a bit. Now, here you go. And thank you. Very much. <sighs> I love him. I love him. He's he's so good. No worries whatsoever. Thank you, mate. Limitless darkness. Wow. Oh, okay. Sisyphus, sir, you've helped me selflessly time after time without so much as asking anything in return. Wanted to say I'm very grateful and thought you might like to try this. Here for a special occasion. Why, Prince, is this... it is. I've not so much as seen a bottle of it, much less sampled it. Thank you so much. Although, with all respect, I cannot rightfully accept such a fine gift. Unless... Unless? Oh no, you're not making me take something in return. You know this was a gift, not an exchange, sir, right? Wait, what is that? Oh, God. His Highness is a little friend of mine kept tucked away in Baldy's care. Wherever you'll be going next, he'll make a worthy traveling companion. And when he's with you, Baldy and I will be with you in spirit too. Sir, this is a mint condition shady you just gave to me. I'm so grateful. I will keep him safe. Aww. Dude. Hey, listen here a moment, Hades kid. Look, I... Thank you, from the bottom of my heart, for bringing Orphe back to me again and everything. Orphe. Eurydice, you're more than welcome, really. You've helped me through the flames of hell time after time. Least I could do is coax old Orpheus out of his private pit of despair so you and he could set things right between the two of you. <laughs> well, you're a real sweetheart, hon. You'll still be seeing Orphe all the time around your house, but now I get to see him too. Nice having something to look forward to, you know? bet someone out there feels that about you man i really didn't need you to say that i appreciate it oh i'm gonna cry okay excellent <sighs> cheers Why not? oh dearest i have brought you keen-eyed artemis who in her focus on the hunt has not developed social graces suitable enough to come to you herself oh uh, wait what <laughs> Social graces, she says, going about like that. I'm sure you know that I can find you when it's necessary, Zagreus. Though how to get away from Aphrodite, I have no idea. <laughs> Thanks, family. Summer. Say, you're from Crete originally, aren't you, Asterius? I know this is a stretch, but I don't suppose you ever heard of a commander by the name of Skelemius. 
captain of the Cretan Second Fleet, something like that. Oh, Jesus. The king of Crete commanded the greatest navy in the world. Even I knew that. Having never seen the light of day, the ships, the sea. Skelemias, huh? I might have heard the name. So what? What? Skelemias was a real person then? But Skelly said, Ah, oh, you know what? It's nothing, Asterius. Shall we? Yes, let's. <laughs> okay. Say Skelly, or should I say Skelemias? I happen to have a chat with somebody familiar with that name. Large, bull-headed fellow originally from Crete. You said you made it all up. What's going on? You never said I made it up, pal. I just knew you weren't going to believe me. I mean, look at me. I look like a captain at a Cretan second fleet to you. I don't know. I've never met one. Do they all just stand around doing nothing? Well, sounds like somebody's never had to lead like 50 or something sailors in a voyage across the sea in a Minoan galley with nothing but the stars to guide them. What do you think the captains do? Pull the oars? <laughs> Wait, what about Hermes? He gave me the impression you might have been somebody else. Nobody in particular. Not some great sea captain. What is it with you gods talking behind the backs of all your friends, boyo? Don't change the subject. Don't change the subject! <laughs> ah. <laughs> if you'll forgive me, Master Chaos, this ambrosia is intended to be given to those whom I care about, and I can think of few recipients I'd like to have it more. Please. I shall accept this as a final offering of some of Hades. For I am given it additional consideration and deciding that my previous analysis of your intentions was too narrow, too inaccurate, and I regret comparing what you have been doing to an act of theft. Respond. Aww. Don't even mention it, please, Master Chaos. All of this is new for me as well. I try never to overanalyze. My father does enough of that for all of us. I just know when I encounter the primordial creator, I'm going to give thanks. For everything. <laughs> I see. Then your response is quite acceptable. And since the act of giving is not an exchange, let us say that you already had my gratitude. Let's go! I hate those two. The thing about me, yeah. Matthew, is I get along with everybody here. A skill apparently that's rather rare. Take my niece Artemis, for instance. Can't ever take a simple jest at all. You will easily attract a mate with such a sour look about you, girl. Oh, Jesus. Oh, and wouldn't that be such a pity, Uncle Poseidon? I wonder what could be the cause of this sour look that I perpetually have up here. Maybe Zagreus knows. <laughs> <laughs> See exactly what I mean, nephew. Oh. <laughs> My God. <laughs>